Hello, welcome to the engineeringprojects.com. Click on this icon to subscribe our channel and to get the latest updates from YouTube. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the engineeringprojects.com. In this tutorial, I will tell you that how can you calculate the quadratic roots using LabVIEW. So first of all, go to our website, engineeringprojects.com, and open the tutorial quadratic roots calculation in LabVIEW from the blog post of our website. By scrolling down this article, you can see the quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. And in the program, I will tell you that how can you calculate the roots of a quadratic equation. From this button, you can download the complete lab view simulation. The link for this project is also given in the description of this video. So first of all, here I am going to download the complete lab view simulation from this button. The downloaded file is .rar. Extract this file. Since I have already extracted the same file, so I am going to open the file. By pressing Ctrl E, you can also open the block diagram window. So, in block diagram window, you can see that the a, b, and c are the coefficients of a quadratic equation, and x1, y1 are the roots for the quadratic equation. Inside this math script, inside this block named as math script or from named as formula node, I have simply written a quadratic formula which is x is equal to minus b plus under root or square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a or x2 in the form of minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So a, b and c are coefficients of a quadratic equation whereas x1 and x2 are the roots for the quadratic equation. So by adjusting the value of coefficients of a quadratic equation a, b and a, a, b and c you will be able to obtain the corresponding value of the roots of the quadratic equation x1 and x2. So let us observe the results. Run the lab view simulation. I am going to enter the value of the coefficients of quadratic equation as a5, b10 and c2. So if you run the program again, you can see that the value of quadratic root that the value of the root for the quadratic equation x1 is minus 0 0.22540 and the value for the x2 is minus 1.7746. Similarly, by changing the value of the coefficients a, b and c of the quadratic equation, you can obtain different roots of the quadratic equation in the form of x1 and x2. So that's all from the tutorial quadratic root calculation in NI Lab View. Take care. Bye bye.